guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with a tag video. So this is the Intimidating TBR Pile tag. This is an original tag that was created by Lindsay Ray and she just recently um, posted it and I just, I loved it so much. I thought it was great and it really got me thinking about books that are on my bookshelves and on my TBR and I don't think anyone tagged me, but I'm going to do it anyway because I do what I want. So here are the books that are on my TBR that are pretty intimidating to me. Number one is a book that you are unable to finish. So I don't have a ton of books on my bookshelves that I started and not finished, but I have one that's sitting on my nightstand right now that I started last month and I haven't picked it up since, and that is Inferno by Dan Brown. I'm 140 pages into it. I do plan on finishing this in the month of April. It's just not something I'm reaching for at all, <laughs> and it's just because I'm not in the mood for it, but I'm, I want to kind of force myself to be in the mood for it. Even if it takes me a while to get through, it's okay, um, but I love this series, so I just really, um, I want to get through this soon. Number two is a book you haven't read because you just haven't had the time. So I went ahead and picked The Passage by Justin Cronin, and that's just because this is a pretty long book and it looks pretty dense. So I know that this is something that I'm going to really need to take my time with, and it's gonna take me a little bit to get through, but I've heard it's really good. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. Even the length, people are just like, it's really long, but it's worth it, and it's so good. Um, this is going to be a trilogy, I believe. There's two books out now and a third one coming out later this year. Uh, but yeah, I just haven't had the time to invest in reading it. Yeah, but I need to do that soon. Number three is a book you haven't read yet because it's a sequel. So <laughs> I'm going to say City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. This is book number two in the Mortal Instruments series. It's not that this book intimidates me. I think just maybe the whole thing intimidates me because I have so much to read, but I know I'm going to want to read all of them because I'm pretty positive I'm going to just completely be obsessed with it. And I read the first book a couple years ago and I loved it. I remember loving it. Um, and then I just never got the books to continue on for some reason. I don't even really know why because I remember thinking I really want to read the rest of these. And uh, yeah, so I have the whole Mortal Instruments series. I have the Infernal Devices series. So yeah, I want to get Lady Midnight, but I'm not doing that yet because I haven't even read number two in like the 10 books I need to read. So um, it's not necessarily this book in particular, but it's kind of the whole thing. I just have so much to read. I know I'm going to love it, but it's a lot. Number four is a book that you haven't read yet because it's a brand new release, and that is Truth Witch. This is the most recent release that I have purchased. There have been other books that have released that I want to read. I just don't own them yet. So I'm going with what I own. Um, but yeah, this one was released, released in January and I just haven't picked it up yet. So, but I want to, I want to. Number five is a book you haven't read yet because you read another book by this author and you didn't love it. So I'm going to go with Scott Westerfeld and the other one I have is Afterworlds. I'm not sure about Scott Westerfeld yet. I have read Uglies. That's the only one that I've read. I haven't read the rest of that series. I haven't read any of his other books, um, but I want to give him another chance. <laughs> and it, it wasn't that I didn't like Uglies, but I just didn't love it. It wasn't like amazing to me. Um, I actually want to give that series another chance and see what I think. But um, I got this on Book Outlet because it was really cheap and I really like the premise of it. Oh my gosh, this one's big too. But um, yeah, so I didn't love Uglies, so I'm kind of a little hesitant to get into his other work, but I want to. I want to give him another chance and see uh, what else there is by him. All right, number six is a book you haven't read yet because you're just not in the mood for it. Do not judge me. I don't want any judgment, not even quietly in your head. Okay, so this one is How to Make Love Like a Porn Star by Jenna Jameson. Hear me out. This is not a self-help book. This is her autobiography. I'm just going to get that out there. This is not why I bought that book. <laughs> That's not it. This is her autobiography. Um, and I've heard that was, I've heard it was good. I don't know. Um, if you know who Gemma Jameson is, she is an adult film star, or I don't know if she still is or not. I don't think she is anymore. She's probably retired. But she was a very, very big adult film star. And I don't know what it is, but I've had friends who read this and they actually said it was really good and it was pretty enlightening on kind of her decisions and 
why she wanted to go into this industry and some background into the industry itself. Not that that's like something I'm interested in necessarily, but it's different. It's definitely not something I'm familiar with at all, but you know, yeah. So I bought it. I got it really cheap when um, there was a bookstore that went out of business. I think it was Borders. When Borders went out of business, I was kind of scouring through their stuff um, when they had a store closing and I found it for pretty cheap and I was like, oh, I was kind of interested in reading that. So I went ahead and got it. This is also a pretty big book. Pretty big. Um, so yeah, but don't judge me. Do not. Number seven is a book you haven't read yet because it's humongous. This is the biggest book I own. This is Once an Eagle by Anton Murr. I don't know how to say his last name. I don't know if it's Meyer or Murr or I don't know. I don't even know why I try. Um, this is easily the longest book I own. This book is almost 1300 pages. I believe it's 1295. And um, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's humongous. The writing is kind of big. It's not like teeny tiny type or anything like that, but I just know that this is going to be a project and it's going to take me a long time to get through, but I've also heard it's very good. So there's that. Number eight is a book that you bought because of the cover and then people started reading it and it's not getting such great reviews. So this one is The Chronicles of Shannara. This is The Elfstones of Shannara. Um, by Terry Brooks. So this one I saw at Walmart and I don't know something about the cover grabbed me He he grabbed me um, But I thought it was kind of cool. It looks a little Lord of the Rings ish You know type and so I was like well, that sounds kind of interesting So I picked it up and I had heard I had heard people kind of starting to Pick it up and you know think about wanting to read it and then it's a show on MTV Which I am recording the show I have not started reading or started watching it yet because I want to read the book first but I am recording the show. I've heard the show is pretty good. Um, but yeah, so this was pretty much a cover buy for me. And then people started reading and reviewing it and not liking it. I'm like, oh, great. Perfect. I'm still going to give it a chance because I have not personally read Terry Brooks yet. So I'm not going to not read it just because other people are saying they didn't like it. You know, everyone has their own opinions and all that. So I'm still going to read it. I actually want to maybe get to this in the next couple of months because I do want to start watching the TV show as well. But I definitely want to read the book first because I feel like if I watch the show first, I'm not going to want to pick this up. So yeah, this one here. And number nine is The Most Intimidating Book on Your TBR. And that is going to be The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Um, this one is very long, very long. Uh, the type is really small <laughs> and um, it's not as long as some other books that I have like Once an Eagle but I think I'm going into this one with really really high expectations because I have not heard of a single person who has read this book that didn't absolutely love it and give it five stars so I'm going in with really high expectations I'm trying not to because if something is hyped up so much and your expectations are so high if I don't enjoy it as much, then it's like more of a letdown, I think. So I'm trying, I'm trying not to, but I have high hopes for it. <laughs> and um, this is going to happen sometime this year. Most definitely. I have a buddy replanned with a couple other people. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, this is my most intimidating. And I also have the second one, The Wise Man's Fear. So that'll probably be number two on my most intimidating as well, because I've heard really good things about that one as well. Um, so yeah. And number 10 is I'm supposed to tag people. Um, if you're watching this and you have not done this video and you have a whole bunch of stuff on your TBR that's really intimidating to you, I'm going to go ahead and tag you. So that's a lot of really, really big books. I'm looking at them piled up right now. Oh my gosh, that's big books, man. All right. So that's it for me. Um, make sure you go check out Lindsay's video as well and check out her channel if you haven't already. Um, she's one of my favorite booktubers. I think she's great. And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.